Bounce. Bounce. Bounce! Thank you for letting me bounce on you two. Here, have a pepper. Mario, let go of the pepper. I know you like them, but you have to let them go. Okay, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. My name's Golden Sheep. Last time, we pretty much completed everything by the montage and this mission in Noki Bay. And this time, we're going to do this mission in the montage in Noki Bay. And after that stupid intro, let's start off. We'll be waiting for you, Mario. Grandpa is at the top of the user. We'll be right in again. Oh, finally. Usually when Grandpa asks me to wear something, it's usually... Stockings and... Okay, that was really creepy. That was... Sounded... Fucking... Anyway. Starting off with a stupid intro and a creepy joke. So, Red Coin Fish. There's another Red Coin mission. This one's actually really cool, because you have to utilise the... This mechanic, which I actually enjoy. Which mechanic is this one? Gelato Beach has... Actually, I don't think Gelato Beach has a mechanic. I think it was just... Bianco Hills didn't have anything. Like, Peanut Park had the roller coaster. I almost said robot, right? Well, technically it did have a Bowser robot, but... Um... Rico Harbor had... The Bleak Surfing. Bianco... Oh. Bianco had the fuck. Django Hill didn't have anything because it was the first world, but Jota Beach didn't have anything either. But this one has the underwater diving helmet. Flipping. Which I am not doing to. I almost said goodly then. I'm struggling to speak. I blame Holland. Ooh, get the last coin! Yay! See now, it's just a little pit at the bottom where the eel was. I don't know why I'm pointing at it. Because A, you can't see my hand, and B, that's the only thing on the screen. But before, it was just like a dark abyss, and I wonder if you went down there if you died. I don't want to find out, though. You did, they either just gave, like, I don't know. Anyway, we got that shine really quickly. I thought that would take ages. Now they'll start Panther Village in this one. Which sucks, because I'm going to have to do a montage for like 40 minutes. And then continue recording for another 10. Hey, well. Shine! There we go. So that is pretty much everything there is to do in Noki Bay. Now we're going to collect the blue coins and the 100 coins. Cue the music! And the monopoly. Mission 6 is the ideal choice for collecting the blue coins from Noki Bay, as you can collect 26 blue coins. While that sounds good, it's more annoying than you think, because all the coins are grouped together, but are annoying to collect, and some are very well hidden. That's what we're in for coins, and once heading to Mission 8, and search on top of the pillars near the beginning once you enter the waterfall. But, I leave the rest to the music.
Once you've collected all the blue coins, return to mission 6 to get the 100 coins. Most people dread the 100 coins in OK, but it's not that bad. If you follow the trail of coins at the beginning of a level, you collect half your coins there. And as for the rest, you can search ruins where the yellow bird is located and collect them there. Or you can go underwater behind the waterfall, or up to the top of the waterfall where you get the first shine, and hit the yellow button to get about 15 to 20 coins. But I'll let the music finish the montage. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Mario? Get back up there! Fuck you, fuck shit! Holy cock! Okay, and with that done, we can now head to Pianda Village. Goodness me, been recording for almost 40 minutes now. Although to be fair, that, is, that montage is the one that's took the least amount of time out of all of them. Oh my god, I'm really looking at Yeah, to get to Pianda Village, you need to go on top of the Shine Tower. And you can do this with Yoshi, but you can actually do it with Mario if you a sort of a weird... It's kind of a jump, a spin jump, and then a triple jump. At the top, you can. Uh, you can get up there without the use of Yoshi or a rocket nozzle. You'll need a hover nozzle. But I don't want to do that just because. I've tried quite a few times and I'm not good at it. So yeah, if I just do one or two shines here, just because I don't know how long that recording's gonna be. The blue coins took ages. I know the beginning of this episode and. Last episode weren't the most riveting commentary, and it also may have seemed like I wasn't enjoying it, but I was. It's just that no, I knew that no Kibe 100 coins were like looming over me, and it, the 100 coins weren't too bad. It probably one I did in the quickest thing. It's only four minutes to collect all 100 coins, and I fucked up a couple times. Anyway, you got these chain jumps which are on fire. That is the goop as well, it's fire goop. Oh good lord. Uh, I'm doing this really badly for some reason. What you need to do is spray him. Get him to chase you. He's not chasing me now. You get him near the water and you spray him and you gotta use the sort of slingshot tail to ping him into the water. And this mission's not too good. Not too hard. As long as you know what you're doing, basically. If you spray him a little bit and get him to chase you, and just basically lure him to water, then you should be okay. Like, he's run out of interest in the moment. And, yeah, you've got the fire goop in this world. We haven't really seen goop since Serena Beach. I'm gonna get my arm burned. Oh, I missed that. Shit. I'm not good at this. Yeah, I'll wait till he's... 
Chase me. Yeah. You guys know how good I am with dogs considering how loud mine are. But yeah, just no keep it. It's probably one of aesthetically best worlds in game. It's just when you're hundred percent in it, you know, you've got the shell secret which I fucked up on, although they get out they get annoyed to me. Fail without rage, it's weird for a let's player. But so yeah, I'm actually enjoying this. I actually as I said, we're going to fuck that off. I'm gonna be a little bit more. Ooh, chase me. Ooh, chase me. Oh. Yeah. That was a bit. I was going to edit and I wanted to record instead. And it was sort of the. Stop chasing me! <laughs> I asked you to chase me and I'll ask you to stop. Yeah, so it was either edit a montage video which is 40 minutes long or record one. And I just felt like doing some recordings instead of editing. Remember, always be kind to your pets. Yes, always be kind to your pets. I can't stand people like cool animals. They are all fucking assholes who deserve to get kicked in the crotch. But on that on that cheery note, we got us fish shine in Pianta Village. Pianta. Oh god! Oh my god! Do a side flip for the love of God, Mario! Okay, we got another El Pantasimo, but the problem I've been having recently is getting Mario to do a side flip. Instead of doing that, he does that and just falls off the edge, and it's been pissing me off so much. I don't know if it's the controls or just Mario being a thick bastard, but it's really annoying. Anyway, you, actually Running Man from Ocarina of Time and Claude from Majora's Mask, flags on top of that big tree. This one, I think it's 25 seconds. 30. This one's actually, there's no much, there's no much, there's not much margin for error on this one. Like if you hit your head on things and bounce off the fence. But this is the last LPM system, which is, I'm okay. It was fun at first, but the other two missions are not difficult. The first one was only difficult for me the first time because I was freaking, uh, didn't know how to do wall jumps. Look, just behind you, 9 seconds late, which is good for a running race, bad for F1. If you're 9 seconds behind in F1, then you're not going to catch them up. Anyway, we've collected 4 shines in this video, including 30 blue coins. <laughs> so we're finishing on 69 shines. That is brilliant. Yeah, so I'm going to end it off here. Next time in Super Mario Sunshine, we're gonna take out a load more shines in Panther Village, and I should be in a little bit of a better mood. Because to be fair, I'm hungry and it's lunchtime. Thanks for watching, I've been going to the sheep, and I'll see you guys in the next one.